Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge, and this is the Men's Closet Confidential Tag Video. So, firstly, I'd like to thank the homie Bazooka Man for tagging me in this video. I know I don't do these tag videos very often, but I love the concept behind it, and it gives you guys a chance to get to know me on a more personal level. And so, to pass this tag on to someone else, I'm going to tag three people my boy from Down Under, Vadrugo Vibes, and then the Welshman, James Clo. And finally, someone that we haven't seen in the past couple of weeks. So hopefully, this will be an opportunity for him to shoot a video really quickly. Jacob J. Keller. So, if you're watching this, do a video. Put it out to the public because clearly they want to see you talk. Okay, so starting off with the first question, which is what is the oldest item in your closet? Bearing in mind that I do a clear out very regularly and so there aren't that many old pieces. I'm sure if I ask my mum, she'll be able to dig out the stuff that I wore as a kid. However, the one piece that I still wear to this day is this J. Crew crew neck jumper in a maroon colour. This is a size medium. I got this back when I was in sixth form and if I remember well, I actually found this piece in school after a rehearsal that we had for a play that we were doing. It was super cold and I believe it started to rain. I didn't have any jumper on me, I was just in a t-shirt. So I quickly went to the school, lost and found and it's bare trampy. And uh, yeah, I managed to find this J. Crew jumper. So whoever this is originally, I do have your jumper, but it's now been nearly six years, so I'm sorry. Nobody claimed it, I did. It didn't even sting that much, but obviously I did wash it. It had a few holes on the jumper itself, so I had to repair it. But Boom. Oldest item in my closet, this bag. Next question being, what is your biggest waste of money? Now, I'd like to think that I'm quite a smart shopper in the sense that I won't buy things that I won't necessarily need. However, if there is one piece that I would have to say, it's not necessarily a waste of money, but definitely could be worn more for the price that I paid would actually be these Jordans, the Infrared 6 that I purchased earlier this year, or it could have been last year. Don't get me wrong, once again, great piece of footwear, amazing shoe, but I just don't wear it that often. My brother keeps bugging me to give it to him since I don't wear these very often, and I've actually made a point to try and wear them as much as possible, so hopefully during the fall winter season, these would definitely be worn a lot more than they are currently. And so, if I had to say my biggest waste of money would actually be these, but they're not truly. So it's fine. Next up we have what is your latest purchases and that will be this coat that I bought in a vintage store called Beyond Retro. It's in the Vintage Vibe episode that you might have seen just before I released this video. So it's actually this jacket and one that is still hanging. You can see them both in the latest episode of Vintage Vibe. Up next we have what is the biggest bang for your buck and now although my first choice would have been the Hyder Ackerman t-shirts because I literally raped them. I don't want to show you guys again the same piece over and over and so the second item that I do wear a hell of a lot for the price I paid would actually be this vintage Burberry duffel coat that I got for an absolute bargain in pretty good condition if I may say so myself obviously you've got the odd moth bites here and there but it's still in decent condition and during the winter times I wear this a hell of a lot and so the biggest bang for my buck would actually be this beautiful duffel coat okay now next up we've got a question that I added myself and that is what is your top three favorite brands or store. As I'm sure you're all aware in the past year or so I'd definitely be able to put Hyde Recommend in my top three designers or stores that I love fair few pieces from them, there's still a lot more that I want to purchase, especially from the new season. Then one of my favourite designers of all time, which oddly enough I don't actually own any pieces from, and that would be Dolce Gabbana. It's crazy because when you look at their stuff and you look at all the stuff that I've put out on YouTube so far, it's not exactly my aesthetic, but there's something towards the clothes, the image they put out and their shows, especially their shows. It's just beautiful and therefore definitely always have been one of my favourite brands. And then finally, if we were to talk High Street, I'd actually put Reese up there. It's definitely a lot more on the affordable side and they provide classics at great prices, whether it would be tailoring, casual tops, trousers. Season per season, they always come out really strong and they have some beautiful pieces. Honourable mentions also goes to vintage shops across London. I know they're not specific brands or stores, but I love a good vintage store. Next up, we have what is your biggest bargain and although technically I could show you guys my entire wardrobe since pretty much everything was purchased at a ridiculous price. I'm actually going to have to go and show you guys a t-shirt that I didn't want to show you earlier because I show it to you guys too often. But that is the Hyde Rackman t-shirt. I know this is just one out of the five. But biggest in terms of bang for my buck and bargain would definitely be this piece. Bearing in mind it retailed originally at well above 200 quid I'd like to say I can't remember the exact prices which in my opinion I wouldn't be able to justify spending that much on a t-shirt but however the price that I got it for which ended up being 35 pounds an absolute steal I wear it so often and definitely one of my biggest bargains to date. Next up we have your favourite three items at the moment and I thought I'd show you guys something different something that you guys have been asking something that I wear on a daily basis that would be my Black Burberry watch that I got for my 21st birthday from my mum my battery is about to die 
So that is item number one. And secondly, we have this Balenciaga bracelet that just goes around twice. It has this belt-like detail. It just wraps around twice and it looks super cool. And finally, we've got the card holder from Fendi once again in black leather. It holds up to three cards on this side. And then you can put two in here and you've got a mini section in the middle to either put more cards or notes, whatever you wish to carry. And so that is my three essential and favorites that I wear on a daily basis. And finally, I'd like to pose a question to the three that I tagged. And the question is, how would you describe your style in three words? And that is it for the end of this video. I'd like to think it was relatively short and hopefully you got to know me a tiny bit better. I mean, it's stuff that I show you in my videos anyway. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your support, guys. The channel is growing at a ridiculous rate. By the time you're watching this video, I'll most likely be in Canada. So hopefully I'll be able to shoot a vlog and also meet up with some Canadian YouTubers and see what we can cook up. Don't forget to show your support by clicking that thumbs up, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that jazz. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace. Starting off with rule number five, we have invest in quality garments. Now I know that you've heard me say this a lot and many of you guys have been asked. <laughs> Vita Vitali, innit?